Hello and welcome to ET Auto. We are in conversation with An Kulkarni, uh, Chief Product Officer, Tata Motors Passenger Electric Mobility. Did I get it right? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, Anand, uh, uh, tell us about uh, no, the showcase that you are showcases rather that you are uh, you have it here at the Global uh, Mobility Expo mm -hmm. uh, 2025. So, Sumantra, uh, this year's theme for us is showcasing the future of mobility. And uh, because we think uh, that our vision of how mobility is going to transform in the future is what we are trying to showcase today. It uh, actually is based on three pillars. There is a, if you see, the, the country is in a mood to explore. A lot of youngsters, people want to go out, people want to understand, people want to explore. And that is the spirit of adventure. Uh, Tata Motors has always been uh, a very, very conscious, responsible company for safety because India has the dubious uh, distinction of having the highest number of accidents. So we've been very committed to safety. And of course, there is a third aspect that we all need to grow uh, in a very sustainable manner and sustainability uh, is uh, indeed a very responsible, very important aspect for the future. So the future of mobility is being uh, deciphered in th on three pillars mm -hmm. and that is on the pillar of uh, boundless adventure on the spirit uh, on absolute safety and uh, with a vision on sustainability so those are the three uh, pillars that we are looking at and that's the theme of our uh, pavilion this year so talking about sustainability while on the traditional ice uh, vehicle portfolio we see the flex fuel there standing we have this uh, what is uh, perhaps not so far away from here in terms of its uh, uh, kind of uh, market uh, market entry the avenia mm -hmm. it looks uh, this is this is this version is quite different from the one you showcased uh, in Mumbai. Correct. Uh, this is more of an SUV and it's actually an SUV. So uh, tell us how, how you're progressing on the Avinya journey and uh, now, uh, will this be the first one that you will have in, in the Avinya portfolio? So the Avinya portfolio is a, a portfolio that will have multiple projects, multiple programs, multiple products. Uh, the Avinya that was showcased in Mumbai two years back was the first expression of that which was based on a premium pure EV uh, architecture mm. and we collaborated along with uh, JLR on their EMA architecture. Uh, the pro that product is currently in its uh, development phase and uh, uh, we thought it was the right time for us to also uh, derive an expression of a second product and that is the second uh, pro uh, concept that we are now showcasing which is the Avinya uh, Concept X. Uh, this combines the uh, basic tenets of uh, what the Avinya stands for in terms of refinement, uh, great space exactly. utilization, wellness, premiumness, and uh, also brings more power, more capability, more uh, desirability and aspiration uh, to an electric vehicle. Right. And therefore, this is a concept that we are showcasing this year. So this is a full-blown SUV, and I mean, I mean, a large size SUV. I mean, what close to about uh, oh, close to five meters. Close yeah. to five meters. Uh, so, uh, in terms of so not now, uh, electrification megatrend is also not making just taking out the powertrain and replacing with uh, you know, the uh, electric powertrain. But it's beyond that, it's more more of a technology showcase, yes. right? So here, now, what are the what are the key key factors that you are focusing on, and not to make it a really a strong and compelling product proposition so first uh, first of all it's a global uh, i mean the concept itself as a concept it will be a global ready product it will uh, encompass the latest of technologies uh, in terms of charging speeds in terms of uh, propulsion so the e drives and uh, the power electronics it will also mean uh, that you have a very high degree of space utilization within the footprint of the car uh, along with that, there will be capabilities in terms of being able to go anywhere, do terrain modes, do a lot of functionalities, do a lot of uh, advanced uh, uh, autonomy, mm -hmm. advanced uh, uh, feature assists in terms of parking, in terms of access, in terms of entry. So all of these uh, features brought together to ease the uh, entire journey of the customer to make it very, very relaxing, 
very comforting and at the same time very enjoyable right. that's the way that we are trying to conceive this and in that in that bouquet of tech uh, i think ada sits on top even in the industry yes. as well it's it's con- it continues to be a hot it trend continue, and, and it continues to develop further it continues to develop further, further. when people thought that uh, not maybe beyond l2 it will be l3 but l2 is kind of broad basing itself in terms of more more and more features and there are more features that are being brought in sumantra where uh, people are going to uh, more controls mm. and uh, actually you are right it is expanding mm. in order to bring more use cases and become more inclusive right so right. how how uh, people tend to use the car right so in this one uh, what level of kind of no uh, edas capabilities are would you kind so of try to look at i don't want to ascribe it uh, to a specific level all that i would say mm. is that it would have the latest features at the point that it would get uh, developed mm. and launched because mm. see today we are showing a concept mm. uh, it's uh, it's uh, i would say uh, away from Mm. Uh, actual launch date right. but uh, rest assured that we have the latest features that would be contemporary at that point of time mm. to be brought on into the car so uh, uh, this year is seen to be you know uh, expected to have that inflection point for uh, the uh, electric passenger vehicle market in india uh, considering that one of your industry peers has kind of you know revealed the, launched their uh, set of products and has created quite a buzz so do you think you know this will you, know, you want to kind of you know further kind of add to that uh, of excitement course, of course see if you look at what's happened in the last 5 years mm. uh, there was there was early interest on electric vehicles then there were a lot of choices uh, there there has been a certain amount of uh, i would say a plateauing uh, in terms of the number of cars sold but that's also been because mo- as more number of people uh, uh, came in uh, there were product choices infrastructure had to grow along with that which is currently growing we are trying to do our bit on it mm-hmm. but now with more people getting interested into this and more people launching products i think this opens up the awareness this opens up the entire interest in the uh, area and we really hope it happens that way because that would pave the way for a faster adoption and we've been leaders so it is going to definitely help us maintain our leadership uh, position mm. uh, also we have the largest number of uh, electric vehicle options uh, w- uh, with any other manufacturer within the country and uh, th- th- that certainly augurs well uh, for all of us so yeah so if 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 there's a mahindra there's a maruti now which is now showcased there now first uh, suzuki's global first ev and then you have you know your set of products which are upcoming products i'm sure now it will be a ca- it's a case of more the merrier uh, now for the industry but uh, any hurdles that you see still which could no any factors which are could be posing as hurdles still which needs to be taken care of maybe not not only by the industry but perhaps the you know policy makers and uh, others so as i said firstly the market has to grow mm-hmm. i mean we can always create options uh, how will the market grow when people are more confident mm-hmm. uh when people have their daily life uh, problems solved like mm-hmm. uh, charging and so th- there is a certainly a big improvement that has happened in terms of the number of chargers uh, when we started 5 6 years back there were hardly any mm-hmm. today we uh, only through tata power we have 10000 fast chargers mm-hmm. and through other charge point operators the number is certainly above 15000 chargers mm-hmm. uh there is always a commitment on improving the number of chargers and hopefully as numbers grow uh, there is a business reason along with the uh, climate or sustainability reasons to mm. be able to do that and we think the inflection point is happening also in the last 3 uh, 4 uh, years what has happened is the battery prices have uh, come down significantly on as a result of which we are now seeing that uh, there is a parity between certain products or products of a certain category from the, uh, when we launched the curve dot ev we said we have been able to achieve parity with an ice vehicle for a 400 km range car oh i see so battery prices have come down uh, people have worked on better architectures to create more battery sizes which means more range and at the same time we've been able to bring parity charging point operators have done their bit the oes have done their bit so the charging infrastructure is growing i think all of these things are positives what we need to therefore solve for is in terms of awareness in terms of having more options in terms of making uh, 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 taking this across to people saying that this is a very very credible option for uh, mobility requirement as a technology option as also. a technology option this is up and coming and this is actually mature now i don't think that the, it's any longer in the realm of uh, whether it will work whether it will not work uh, the last 5 billion kilometers plus on our cars 2 lakh cars or more 
have shown that it is a reality. Right. So, uh, Anand, on that note, <coughs> uh, as always, pleasure talking to you and uh, Thank all you the so best. Much. Yeah. Thank you. There you heard uh, <coughs> Anand Kulkarni, Chief Product Officer at Tata Passenger Electric Mobility, talking about the showcases that are taking place here by, at the Global uh, Mobility Expo and also how the Avinaya concept will uh, kind of uh, translate into products and the electric electrification journey in India. And it's not a uh, matter of uh, if, it's a matter of when. And towards that, it says awareness will play a very key role. And of course, more and more industry players getting into the fray will only help build the industry and get a better traction in the coming years. On that note, thanks for watching this interview. Take care. Goodbye.